Hello everyone, how are you doing? I hope everybody's having a great day. Uh, a lot of good things happening in the world. Some days it's harder to see them than others, but um, it's been a beautiful day here where I live, the area I live in, so it's always very helpful. I wanted to talk about uh, letting go um, and how, like most things in life, it sounds simple, but it's not necessarily easy. I had an experience uh, a couple of days ago that was a little bit uh, difficult for me, a little bit painful, actually. And I um, was sitting, I went to just sit down and have a quick beverage. I just wanted to relax for a minute. Um, and I actually wanted to write a note to someone in my family because I need to let them know a few things. Uh, anyway, and um, this man comes and sits down across from me. And eventually he proceeds to tell me that, you know, I'm not going to be in the best place in the next world because I don't hold certain beliefs. Um, and, you know, that was really strange. I mean, that's not really what bothered me. What also bothered me was that the man was, he had been drinking. And so I'm not sure how much of his um, uh, conversation was really coming from a true place. Although I know when people take in too much of substances, sometimes you can clear away a lot of husks and see the reality. It's not the best way to do it at all. Uh, it's not the answer, but I know that I know that that's true. So um, we're having this amazing conversation about like, you know, no, I don't hold these beliefs, and you know, I love you regardless. And I even asked him, you know, tell me why that belief is so important to you. Belief in a particular way of looking at God belief in a particular way to reach God um, and you know he really couldn't I don't know if that was because of the substances that were in his body or if it was just that he he didn't want to you know because it was very important to him when I told him I didn't share his beliefs I thought he was going to cry you know because he was so sad that we wouldn't be together in the next world and, um, you know, this is all before he'd even asked my name, which, you know, happens from time to time that, excuse me, <coughs> it happens from time to time that people look at me and they want to engage me in conversation because I look different or my clothing's a little different or they might notice something different about me, either physically or maybe even spiritually. And they'll want to have a conversation with me, and it'll be five minutes into the conversation before I finally have to say, you know, listen, I don't know your name. I'd like to know your name, and maybe you would like to know my name. But the interesting thing was about this conversation with this gentleman is that, um, you know, he just, he couldn't let go. Uh, one of the hardest things to let go of is preconceived notions about Hashem, preconceived notions about God, about how God works, about why things are the way they are. And, and, and when you come into a particular uh, way of thinking, either through your religious path or whatever, you know, you can build up these preconceived notions about how it works and how it's supposed to work and how it's going to work. And, you know, you're putting yourselves in these boxes. And I have boxes. We all have boxes. We all have blind spots. We all have bias. Um, no matter what. And, the you know, part of the job is clearing that stuff out. But I thought how tough it is for people to really face 
certain realities about God or that their realities or their framework doesn't doesn't work because this man tried to engage other people in the conversation with me <coughs> I beg your pardon who he thought were you know on his side and as he would ask them questions and, and, and as he would ask them questions and I would ask them even further clarifying questions um, you know the man realized he was alone in in his process thought process and it was hard for me because in my in my many jobs I've worked with many people of many faiths many backgrounds socioeconomic backgrounds spiritual backgrounds religious backgrounds racial backgrounds and even before I was really listening to drawer you know one of my goals was I just want to get to know people uh, I want to learn you know I, it, it's we don't have to agree I just want to learn and see what we have in common and maybe see how we can work together and be better um, and you know when you get so hung up on a particular way of looking at God you can get so hung up that you you can't function that way. It's like unless the person can check these boxes, 